Hi, I'm Jack Campbell. I'm a professional product developer with KitShark in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been developing new products, making them, and taking them to market for over 40 years. About 15 years ago, I began really focusing on the idea of a small uh, array-based loudspeaker system that musicians could carry easily from one venue to another. But I kept having a problem. Uh, the promise of these line arrays, and then eventually in 2003, Bose brought the original L1 to market, and they began promoting the idea that the small line array system can be used as the backline uh, monitor uh, and main sound reproduction system for a live stage performance. And if it's behind the musicians, that as a musician, what you hear on stage is the same uh, frequency response and dynamic range that, that the people in the audience would hear. And, and what an amazing idea that if you had something that you could just pull out of a bag and stick on a stand and begin playing and you knew that what you were hearing was the same thing that the audience was hearing, uh, that would be amazing. And as I built and tested systems back in the 90s, uh, it became evident to me that that's not what was happening. I couldn't figure out why. So for about five years from the mid-90s into the early 2000s, I really drilled down and, and explored and built and tested a number of small arrays uh, to try to figure out what was causing the sound on stage to be different to the ear of the musician, uh, to what you would hear midway back in the audience. And I finally isolated the problem. You see, traditional loudspeakers have a uh, diaphragm in the middle that moves back and forth and uh, moves the air, which produces sound. But to make that happen, there's always a large rubber surround, a ring, around the middle that produces the sound. Of course, the ring really doesn't produce sound, but then around that, there's a metal or plastic frame, and none of that produces sound. So what happens is there's a small area in the middle of a driver that's actually producing the sound, and then there's this mechanical structure around it that's not. And when you put two of them together, what happens is there's a great distance between those cones or those diaphragms that doesn't produce sound. So you can't get the diaphragms very close. And when you start stacking drivers close together to produce this, this wonderful concept in theory of, of a cylindrical wave sound front that would make the sound nearby the same as the sound in the audience, you run into this physical barrier of all that construction around the diaphragms keeping them separated. And so I've, in the late 90s, early 2000s, I really began looking at that problem. I would like to introduce you to the solution. We currently call it the uh, solo driver. And this is the key to why solo amp is the only small line array in existence that actually does sound the same up close, anything further than about 18 inches, uh, as it does in the middle of the audience. It's because the drivers can now be so close together that the wave front, and this isn't a technical explanation, it's just a way to simplify it, but the, the wave fronts can merge into that desired cylindrical propagation pattern very near the face of the product, as opposed to when you have drivers that are separated by some, uh, frankly, enormous uh, amount of space. It takes more distance for the response and the wave fronts for those individual drivers to smooth out into this cylindrical prop propagation uh, property that you want. Uh, that's the key to uh, why solo amp does two things better, demonstrably, measurably better than any product in this category, including the Bose L1 Series 2 and the very expensive products uh, at the $2,000 plus price territory. Uh, and those two things are, it sounds more like, up close, what the audience is hearing than any product, anywhere. Secondly, it has the narrowest vertical projection range and the furthest throw, which means that the amplitude 
of the sound coming off the solo amp diminishes less with distance than of any of these products for exactly the same physical reason. And folks, there's no magic when it comes to acoustics. It takes real solutions like the solo driver to get to the kind of optimum performance that nobody else can get to. So thank you for listening to my kind of rambling explanation, but I did want to get on camera and let anybody that's looking at this product know what is really different.